What's good YouTube? It's your boy Jay High with Moments Behind the Moments and we're here today to do another unboxing video and to do a quick overview of the Britax B-Safe 35 travel system. But yeah, let's get into it. Alright guys, so before we get into it, make sure you go ahead and press that like button, that share button, subscribe to the channel, and you know what to do, you gotta punch that notification button as well. Alright, let's get into the unboxing. This is the B-Safe 35 accessory base from Britax, and it's compatible with the B-Safe 35, the B-Safe 35 Elite the B-Safe Ultra and the Endeavors for the infant car seats. It's certified for aircraft travel. And when you open this box, there'll be a recall form. Um, and if it's not already pre-filled out with this information on it, you're gonna need this information to fill out that form. So don't get rid of the box, but let's get to it. <laughs> So this is everything that comes in the box. That recall form I was talking about is actually attached to the base when you're pulling it out. Um, instead of it being in the box and you getting rid of it. Uh, but it does say important on there. So I hope you don't miss that. It actually comes pre-filled with the information that was on the front of the box so you don't have to fill that out. But you do need to fill out your information on there, your name, your address, your city, state, and all that good stuff. And throw it into the mailbox. It, it does already come pre-posted. Just take a picture of the box or take a picture of this information right here on this form before getting rid of it, before sending this to Britax. Alright, so one thing to take note as far as uh, what's in the box, there's no actual like paper instructions for this. It's like instructions on the base, pretty much telling you how to put it in. That's what we'll go ahead and do right now, is we'll go ahead and show you how to put it in your car. One thing to think about for you and your spouse, if you want to get these, I would definitely recommend getting two of these. Save yourself the hassle of moving these in and out of your cars, as the infant car seats are a lot easier to get in and out of your cars rather than the bases. All right guys, so first things first, uh, you want to get this thing leveled out. The red little marks right here, as you can see on the top and the bottom are the two sides. There's the little arrows, and you want to get this red mark in between the arrows. And the way you do that, there's this little button on the back. You're gonna press this button, and then it's gonna adjust this little red uh, little mark right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so that looks good. The red mark is between the, the two arrows on both sides. So now, if you look right here, we have the two clips that you're gonna put and attach to the actual seat of your car. Uh, and the way you get these out, you just press these buttons and pull. So they have both of these out. All right, so, you can't really see it, but there's like a little metal bar right here. And all you do is kind of snap this part on. It clips on like that to the metal bar. So I'll go ahead and do that. And make sure that's up the right way. So you want to make sure that the safeguard logo is right side up. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put that in. And as you heard that, it does a little snap and a click. And you're good right here on this side. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And you heard that snap and that click again. So as you can see right now, the car seat's kind of like out, it's moving around. And the way you fix that is by pulling on these two uh, straps right here. I stay strapped like car seats. And you're gonna push down the side you wanna pull down. So I'm gonna tighten this side. And then what you do is just feed that strap through the bottom. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna feed that re the rest of that strap through this bottom. And now as you can see, the car seat's not really moving. 
to make sure that it's super secure is we're gonna go ahead and put that seat belt in between. Snap that in. You wanna make sure that the car seat doesn't move more than an inch on the sides um, and an inch forward. And that lets you know it's uh, secure in your seat to where it's not moving an inch either way. All right, just like that, your car seat base is installed. As you can see, that didn't take too long. And I'll show you how easy it is to get the car seat on and off this thing. And then we'll move on to the, the overview of the stroller. Alright guys, so as far as getting the car seat in, it's as simple as just making sure you get this bad boy on there to click. And you're good. That's all it takes. And just to test it out, you just want to give it a little tug. And to get it off, you're going to use this button right here on the car seat. And you're just going to press that. And that unlatches the, the car seat from the car seat base. That's pretty much it. And we'll go ahead and move on to the, the overview of the, the stroller. Do you like being in the front seat? Yeah. Alright guys, so just to end off the video, we're going to show you a couple of the cool features of the stroller that we have from Britax. Um, and the first thing I want to show you is just how easy it is, again, to put this infant car seat on the on and off the stroller just as it was on, on the car base. Just get the car seat. And if you see right here on the sides, they have these two little clicking mechanisms. Just go ahead and strap that onto the stroller. And you just make sure that it clicks on there. Um, and again, just to see if it's on there, you're just going to get that tight little pull. Again, the same way to get this thing off. You're just gonna go ahead and click this little button right here um, and it easily just comes off. So now we'll just go ahead and move on to some of the cool features of the stroller. You can actually access this bin from the front rather than having to always go through the back to access the bin. Um, another thing since we're here, uh, right now we actually have the wheels locked in. If you can see, all you do is just flip this button up um, and that'll give you the ability to kind of swivel these front wheels around um, and it's actually that same thing in the back um, so I'll show you actually how to lock this real quick before we move to the back we're just gonna put that back to in this front position um, and then you're just gonna go ahead and push that down um, and that's gonna lock it in there uh, to where the the wheels can't move uh, swivel around anymore as you can see, just what I was talking about on these back wheels as well, and it's the same thing. To lock the wheels, you just want to click that bottom one, um, and as you can see, the wheels won't move anymore. Um, and then if I just flip that up, that gives it the ability to move again. There's these two little straps. Um, if you want to have the baby actually come up in the stroller, all you have to do is pull on these two straps. And that puts your baby up, as you can see, where they're not in a reclined position anymore. To get it down, all you gotta do is just pull this little button right here, and that puts it back in a recline mode. Another cool feature that this stroller has is the canopy. Um, it's actually pretty large, and it gives you the ability to fully cover your baby. Uh, so if you kind of want to cover them from the sun or from people or bugs or whatever. You can fully cover your baby. You can actually look at your child from this um, access right here. If you want to actually see your child from the top, you can do that as well. You just pull this back and it has another little netted part to where you can see your child. Another cool thing while we're back here, the stroller actually has this compartment to where you can kind of put your keys, your wallet, your cell phone. Um, it also has two other pockets where you can kind of put water bottles and things like that. And lastly, another cool feature about this stroller, all you gotta do is press this button right here. And then if you look, it says pull to fold. All I'm gonna do is just pull that. It folds up to where it's easier to put in your trunk. And if you look right here, it locks. So if you wanna get it out of this position, all you gotta do is unhook that and then pull the stroller back up. You heard it click, and as you can see, it's back in its normal position.
<laughs> All right, y'all, so that was a quick overview of the Britax Be Lively travel system. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're watching this video, press that like, share, subscribe button, and go ahead and punch that notification button as well. I appreciate you watching the video and stay tuned for the next one.